variation in phenotype exists even in a population of living things that are the same species. Much of the variation is due to multiple genes, not just a single gene. This variation in phenotype comes from two main sources, sexual reproduction in species that reproduce sexually, and mutation, which can occur in multiple different ways. These processes are random. Environmental factors act on individual variation so that those individuals in a population best suited to the environment survive and produce more offspring. So we have chance events coupled with a selection process. Let's see how this works with the following analogy. Suppose we place a chimpanzee in front of a typewriter and we allow the chimp to make 13 keystrokes. How many attempts would the chimp have to make in order to type out to be or not to be. By chance alone, the number of trials would be 26 to the 13th power. That is 16 times the number of seconds that have elapsed since the beginning of our solar system. But if after every attempt, every correct letter is preserved and every incorrect letter is eradicated, the end result can happen much faster. We now would need only 335 trials. And this, according to computer simulations, would take less than 90 seconds. The selection process drives this change over time. Over time, natural selection can affect a significant number of individuals, altering the number of individuals who have a particular trait. In the next couple of activities, you will explore Darwin's ideas. Darwin did not come up with the idea of evolution. People knew that things changed over time way before Darwin. Darwin is responsible for the mechanism to explain speciation how what was once one species can now become two distinct species. Have fun.